Hello everyone, welcome to the stream. Welcome, 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 welcome. Happy Friday, happy Fallout Friday. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. I hope you can all hear me. I put on a noise suppression filter because of comments that were made about hearing my AC yesterday, or not yesterday, on Wednesday. So, <laughs> hopefully you can't hear the AC. The background music, as you can obviously tell, is different today. And that's because I was trying to find some BGM that would fit the Fallout vibe, but is also, like, you know, <laughs> free to use on streams. And I couldn't really find anything that I thought was perfect. This was, like, close-ish, you know? And I was like, fine, I'll, I'll live with it. So that's why we have this today. It's been a long day, you guys. Let me just tell you, it's been a day. So I'm glad that I'm here on stream, just building my silly little settlement in Fallout 4. You know, and it's Friday and I don't have to think about work. So thank you so much for joining me. Um, let me say hello to everybody in the chat. Oof, is my camera weird? Let me say hello to everybody in chat. Hello, Nye. Hello, Nothing. Hello, Rippy. Hello, Stan. Hello, Mari. Welcome. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Before I start the game, I think I want to turn off... Let me turn off the... Um... The music, because there's music in the back. Okay, I'll remove that background music. Master volume, I'll keep for voice and all that, so I'll do that. And then let's get to it, I guess. This is our settlement. Um, nothing's really changed. I mentioned the other day that I kind of decorated a few things. Oh, I did make a little house for myself as well. And in that time, I think we got new people. <gasps> we have five people now! We have to assign these people stuff. We have to assign them to things. Um, but let's take a look at the settlement from the front. Just to jog our memory. I'm also doing settlement stuff with the vault settlement alongside stream. Oh, cool! With the vault? Very cool. I don't think I've ever unlocked that settlement. So here's the front. We still have our settler here watching this main guard post, you know. I am actually unsure where enemies spawn the most. Like, do they spawn more on this side? Or do they spawn more on that side? I'm not sure. I did see a super mutant spawn over here one time. So maybe I need to move the guard post, but... We have our turret here. And our turret here. And then we have this door that we can turn on and off. Oh, whoops. <laughs> we can turn it on and off so that the door closes, but I'll leave the door open because I want more settlers to come in. Ooh, oh, he, this person's unassigned. Hello, welcome to the Starlight Settlement. Please, enjoy your drink of... I don't, I don't know what you're drinking, but enjoy. Um, our water gener... Whoa, I didn't realize it glows this much. Does it always glow this much? This is the same structure that we saw last time on stream. I added some lights so we could see in this general common area. And the other day when I was looking through the settlement, I quickly realized that I should not have used the concrete. I like concrete, but I shouldn't have used the concrete, um, what are these called? The bases or whatever? 
Because I don't like that the whole entire... First of all, look, these aren't even lined up. I'm sorry. Um, I don't like these floors for a house. Don't you think? Like, look, this must be uncomfortable to walk on every day. Maybe wood would have been better. I don't know. But anyway, there's that. And then I did kind of decorate a couple of rooms, okay? I, I decorated two rooms. This one I decorated... I, I imagine that the person that lives here loves animals, obviously. Look, they have all these beautiful animal photos on their wall. And, um, yeah, I figured every room will get this kind of setup where it's, like, a locker and this clean bed. And everyone will get a desk. I don't know if it'll be the same desk, but they'll get a desk. And it's gonna look like this kind of layout. I like this locker because it's the most slim stor upright storage container, I think. I think. But it just fits so perfectly in this square, so I, it feels cozy, but you know, it, it's practical. There aren't any decorations in these rooms. I don't know why I skipped these rooms and I just went straight to this one. <laughs> I went straight to this one, and in my head, this person is someone who loves the, like, you know... The water. They have beautiful, like, coastal painting. We have these things as decoration, which I quite like. It adds a lot of color. You know, I don't like that we're looking at this at night. Maybe, I mean, it goes with the BGM vibe, but, you know. Oh, I forgot I did put beds there. Maybe we take, maybe we sleep and then we look at the rest during the daytime. We are well rested. As I mentioned before, I've been playing a lot of Fallout 76 lately, and I just... Oh, 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 that scared me. Um, it's so funny when you go to sleep in that game, because you can hear all the snoring. Okay, I'm not going to close that door, because Piper is just going to open it again. <clears throat> Happy Friday, Mari! Happy Friday! Hello, Riku. Welcome to the stream. It's good to see you. Pop in. I probably can't stay for too long tonight. Gotta wake up early tomorrow morning to go hiking. <gasps> no problem. Nothing. No problem at all. That sounds like a lot of fun. I'm well. Are you assigned? You are also unassigned. Where should I assign them? Anyway, we'll figure that out in a sec. We'll assign them to something later. Um, so that's our main building. And then I realized, Lily, you don't have your house at all. And usually I love to have my own private house in the settlement, you know? And I originally wanted to build it up here. It, it was looking really stupid. <laughs> I wanted to build it up here because... Because it's like a great overview of the settlement, you know? But it's really hard to build something nice up here with... I mean, I don't know. I'm not creative. So I'm sure there are people who've built something up here that are really cool. But I am not creative. So I couldn't build anything. So I just made my house next to the main house. But I get a fancy roof. Looks like this. This is open air, but we're just going to forget about that. So I get <laughs> a roof um, that I can see outside with. This is my room. Same window situation. I, ignore that. Um, in my little sitting area. And then I think I'm going to do like a dining area situation here, but I'm not sure yet. And speaking of dining situation... I expanded this part a little bit too, so that there's more room, but since the main building didn't have a kitchen, I, 
Is this door broken? Oh no, are all of the doors with broken windows? I thought that there was one with, without any broken windows. I don't know. Anyway, this couch. Since the main building doesn't have a kitchen, I made like a little cooking area, including, you know, our cooking station out here. And it looks nice at night because the light shines in this direction, but we have an ice box so people can put, you know, any sort of meats and vegetables that need to be preserved in there or, you know, stored. And then that way the people who live here can use it. And I figured I can also use it. I oh, should I put a little, oh, I wonder, should I put a door back here so I can walk around? I don't know. My house isn't very big. I could extend it a little bit, I guess. There's enough room, although we live right next to the farm, so. These are the things that I think about when I make my settlement. <laughs> That's true. Are you a farmer, though? Don't excuse me. My house, don't, don't go in my house. That's private. Oh, no, I don't. I don't want to trade anything. I don't want to trade anything. So that's all we have so far. We need to finish building my house. We need to finish building out the rest of the common area. And then we need to make some things to help build the settlement up. We don't have any stores. And it's also because we don't have the, the perks required for it. So I should level up to do that. I can level up twice already. We need rank two of local leader. I mean, I guess I could push it. Oops. Local leader is... Charisma? Oh, it requires six charisma and we have shitty charisma. <laughs> <laughs> I keep on saying that we have to build up the charisma for the main quest anyway, so we should probably... I'll just put both into charisma. That way, we can also get stores for the settlement, you know? It will be good if we build up charisma twice. Yeah, because we need better... Um, we need to do better in our speech checks. It's really funny because in 76, my stats are pretty even. Here, they're so random. Okay, well. That's what it is. So what should we do today for the settlement? We can't build the store just yet. We could go and find more vegetables and fruits for the farm. I think we might have to because we don't have a lot at all. In fact, we have more people than food, so that's going to be a problem. Hello, hello, welcome to the stream. Hello, Snow Crab. How's the game? The game's pretty good. We kind of just loaded in and I was going through what we've done in the settlement so far. So now we have to decide what to do next. Howdy! Hello! Welcome to the stream! Let's see. Hello, Brando! Welcome! The mindset of making your character in 76 feels so weird to me since you know you'll be playing with other people. The thing that th is always funny and interesting to me, it's not even that funny, it's just interesting to me because I'm weird. Is that like, your charisma, it's really all about if you're playing on a team or not, so I don't... I don't um, build that one up as much, but my skills are pretty even, almost even across the board. Let's see. How should we do? Okay. Is it useful to assign more than one settler to farming if the farm is tiny? 
because we we can let's assign this guy to 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 farming. All right, nice. Now we have two farmers. Have you watched the Fallout show? I did. I finished it. Um, I finished the show in like two sittings. It was too good not to just watch. I watched the first two episodes on the first night it came out and then I couldn't watch the rest because I had work. But then the next day I sat down and I just ended up finishing everything. It was too good. There is one other settler. I know we have a settler here and then I put another settler f back here during the or at the guard post at the top i wonder if she actually made it up there though oh she is up here hey i told you to stand over there should we put um you think she's stuck uh oh Should I put a turret up here? Do people- do enemies spawn very much on that side, or do they spawn mainly on this side? I know that there are people that come from the- what is that? That's like a factory or something, right? Oh, there she is. She's standing. Let's grab these. I want to keep this. Why would I keep it, though? It's not like I need it. We can put a turret up here, right? Our defense is so high. It's 27. For what? There's no one that lives in this settlement. Look at it. <laughs> but you know, if people hear that the settlement is well defended, they probably will be more inclined to join us, right? anything this no it's too big I don't think if I put the chart here it's like blocked by the railing right can I set it on can I set it on like a trunk or something put it on top of this, will it work? <clears throat> Once you get a few more buildings here, this place will look really nice. I know, I'm excited to make more buildings. It will not fit. Oh, it won't. Cause Okay, that makes sense. Crap it. I wonder if it'll be helpful at all. I heard it's good. I haven't watched it yet. The show is so good. The show is so good. I can't say that I'm like the number one Fallout fan by any means. Nor can I say like I'm the most knowledgeable about it because there are definitely things I don't know and things that I forget. But it's honestly so good. Did not disappoint. I think I think we're just gonna build a turret. I don't. Uh, it's gonna look so silly. Maybe I shouldn't have put the guard outpost up here. Maybe I'll put the per the turrets down there. Maybe that's the call.
Hmm. Egg and batch, it's really good. Yeah, it's so good, right? So good. Should we do? I do like the scaffolding. Can I sink this? I cannot sink it. Ooh, this kind of works. Are we cooking, perhaps? Perhaps? Oh, perhaps? Maybe I need... I don't even know what I'm doing. We were supposed to build other things. I'm obsessed with making, like, high defense for my settlement, apparently. Oh, you can't even properly walk up there. That's frustrating. These things are in the way. If I spin this, is that better? No. Okay. Oh. This should not work by any means. But if I move it forward anymore, we get stuck on that other part. So I'll just... We're just gonna pretend that that makes sense, okay? We'll leave it at that. Surprisingly straight to the lore, actually not forced information. Oh, in the show? Yeah. I'm glad it wasn't too, uh... Didn't explain everything, like, way too much. And make it feel... Burdensome to learn everything. That is clearly... That is... That is disgusting. Oh, <gasps> oh, hello? Hello? Can I? I cannot, okay, that's fine. That's okay. I can do. I'll do that. I'll do that. Oh, that's so gross, actually. That is utterly disgusting. Every settlement stream is just like a fight for my life with the snapping mechanics of this game. Truly. The free roam camera option for camp building in 76 spoils me because I can't imagine going back to placing stuff down in person. I was shocked when I learned that you could do the free roaming camera. Game changer.
You know what? Is that... This is decent. Okay. Now if I... I have ten concrete walls. Truly while we're beyond. Please not connect. Oh my god. Please tell me that these will somehow work. No. But do I care at this point? Oh, what the hell? What the hell is this? making it not line up properly like what is it the fact that I used this small ball Halo show was overhyped and at the end the show came out terrible. I also have heard some unfortunate things about the Halo show, which makes me sad because Halo is like my OG FPS game. You guys know. You guys know how I feel about Halo. You know what? If I leave it like this, do you think it's gonna be that bad? Like what is this? Oh, that's actually disgusting. Actually gross. About to lose my mind. This stream is supposed to be a chill, cozy stream. I'm about to scream. What is why? so good this would have been oh that's actually not as good as i thought it was <laughs> okay what could i possibly what's another thing that i could use if i do like a prefab oh whoa that's really big i don't What if I did one of these? That's still not the same. Still not big enough. Oh, 
Oh, scaffolding. Oh, that's not gonna work. No, because it's exposed at the back. Any boxcar thing? Ooh, what if we did like a fun little <clears throat> boxcar? It's still, there's still like. I don't know what I did. <clears throat> I don't know. I truly don't know what I did to make this not snap and not even. <clears throat> when your phone crashes mid lurk. Hi, everyone. How are y'all doing? Hello, Riku. I'm doing pretty well. How about you? How have you been these days? I mean, I've been doing good generally, but this game is now going to make me go insane because I wanted to add a turret here, but now there's, like, not enough room. Oh, why is she on... I thought she was going to, like, start fighting something. This is dumb. Why did I do that? Uh... Is that- does that work? <gasps> Kinda! Good enough, you know? Good enough. Oh, Piper. Okay, I'll... Oh no, we don't have enough food. Let's go to, um... Gosh, where can we get more food? We have two other settlements that we've unlocked that we can steal food from. But it's going to be the same type of food we already have. Does that matter? Do you think the people of my settlement will get tired of eating melons and... How did you get up there? Excuse me... Excuse me, it's not... It's not safe up there, but also, how did you get up there? that's gonna be in the way. That's fine. Oh, maybe if I do that there, that's better. Okay. Now we can add a turret. Thank goodness I don't need generators for this. There, that way this person on the guard post here has a turret to protect them on this side. But that still doesn't solve the problem this side. Can I put a turret on here? Oh, I can! Oh my god, wait a minute. Did I just spend all that time trying to make that when I could have put two... <sighs> I feel... I feel betrayed. And you know what? Aesthetically, it looks better. I mean, are they floating? Absolutely. Are we gonna 
pay attention to that? No. In this case, I'm gonna get rid of this entire thing. This is so, I am so mad. We'll leave this little, um, area free though. We'll probably need it for something. We always need the extra space. Alright, well now we have two turrets back here. Just watch the back. Okay. We have five settlers. <gasps> oh no, I missed... Did I miss nothing? I'm gonna head out. Enjoy the rest of the settlement building. Good night, nothing. Thank you so much for joining the stream. Have fun on your hike tomorrow. Let us know how it goes. I'm just busy yapping to myself. I'm sorry, I didn't... I, I didn't see... I didn't see chat. <laughs> Time to download some quality of life mods. I told myself I wouldn't download mods Except for the one that I have now that allows me to generate all of the materials that I need to build. But I'm I'm really close to downloading like a cleaning mod or something where it gets rid of all of these skeletons. I wish that I could at least move them, but I can't move them at all. And I have this skeleton underneath my front porch. Like, that doesn't look very good for the owner of the settlement. You know what I mean? Are you assigned? You are unassigned. How do I how do I get you down? Let's get them down. Let's get this person down from there. And then can she get can you get... How did you get up there? I don't think it's possible for me to get them down. I like... Oh, maybe from here, yeah? Yeah? Maybe? Okay, good. She can go down. Let's assign you to the other... Um... Let's assign you to defense also. Now we need to go get more food. Once we get more food, we can start building other things because there's not enough food for ourselves. We could, we could go to another, oh my God. Wait a minute. Okay, defense zero, 10 pines bluff. We haven't really done anything here. I feel bad. Sanctuary Hills. Oh, we have more people in Sanctuary Hills. Overland Station. Let's go to Overland Station because um, they have more food than people. I do want to fix their settlement next. Do you remember last time we went there? We fast traveled because it was getting attacked and we just got our ass kicked by the super mutants. <laughs> food. This is how it works, right? That I can use these for the settlement. That's all they eat is the potatoes? I thought I planted other things for them. Oh my god. All they eat. The one corn. I swear that I had given them like gourds or something. How's our little house? How's our little shack holding up? Still good? Okay. Halo show would have been peak if it was canon and it was about blue team. 
The chief read it Lita and it's earlier in the timeline. I can't help but wonder... Well, <laughs> I don't know. Is that what you would have wanted the Halo show to be about? I don't know what I would have wanted it to be about. What is, where's Tenpai's wolf? Up here. Put up here. Only way for me to really enjoy Fallout 4 is to mod it. <laughs> It needs so many quality of life mods or it's just frustrating to play. I can understand that. <laughs> oh, they eat nothing but potatoes too. Oh. oh my god, all of my settlements across the board, they just eat... Tomatoes. Oh man, that's rough. Okay. Alright, Sanctuary. What do you have for me here? In Fallout 76, I am so bad about consuming my food before it spoils. I'll be walking along and then suddenly I'm over encumbered and I'm like, what happened? And then I check my- Oh my god, that scared me. That, that legitimately scared me. Okay, at least I have gourds. That, that Brahmin really scared me. That was the jump scare. I don't even remember what I was talking about before that. What was I talking about before that? Oh, the food spoiling. So yeah, I'm walking along and um, I'm over encumbered and I look at... I look at my inventory and it's like seven spoiled vegetables. <laughs> the worst part about it too is that I cooked, I, I tend to cook like the dishes, you know, and then they just end up spoiling. So I just wasted all of that energy and all of the ingredients for nothing. God. We need to. Oh, God. Put more. More of these everywhere. We have enough melons, right? Like, we have. Sellers love melons. Right, sellers. Get a plant. Why are there two different kinds? Do you guys know? Aren't they not the same? This guy's trapped. Oh, but I can't see anything. The bush is in the way. Okay, I'm not gonna mess with that wall because...
Okay. Okay. It's still fortified back here. Right? Yeah, but now there's more room. Now we can give more space to our tomatoes. <laughs> and we have so many tomatoes that we can plant all of them, I think. That should last... That should be enough for the entire settlement. I like how we have one carrot. There. I know... Are these melons? Those are melons. We have one gourd plant, do we not? Did I set it down already? I might have. Oh, here. These are gourds. Let's move them with other gourds. We can. melon, this melon plant is in the way. <clears throat> we'll move it here. Come on. Come on. Oh, here. Yes, perfect. Okay, those, those are all the gourds. Those are all of our tomatoes. We have random razor grain um, and we'll we can get corn later from starlight or from sanctuary hills again i want to put all the melons there but it's not gonna work okay cool now we have nine food which is more than enough our defense is good our power is pretty good now we can get properly building shall we Hello, Lotus. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Halo 5 has a lot of good stuff in, in it. In it. <laughs> do you want them to try to do another Halo show, or do you think they should just pack it up? <laughs> Is there going to be a season 2, or did, where, how many seasons are there? What should we do next? Let's do... Oh, we always need a clinic, you know? A clinic is important. And we also need a general store, but perhaps we do that later. So when everyone comes in through here, we want them to be able to easily access the clinic. So maybe we put the clinic on this side. I'm kind of thinking it's good to have it on the side because uh could they be attacked from above possibly? But there are more people that attack through here, so I'm very serious about this. Let's Let's, let's put it here. I like it kind of nestled on this side. But it's still, you know, kind of at the front. Kind of at the front of the settlement. Oh, this is not a good look to have. <laughs> have near the clinic. There's already a season two. Oh, really? Okay. All right. I didn't realize. I haven't watched any of it, honestly. From all the comments I've seen, I just don't feel like I want to. <laughs> I remember the animated one. Let's put... Let's put the clinic here. Um... Do we want... Do we want everything to match? Or do we kind of like the mismatched look? Maybe we want things to match. I think these were warehouse walls. Yeah, they were warehouse walls. Any prefabs? like 
です。Can I put a wall on the front of this? Let's build a base first, because I. This is uneven. People said season two is better, but it's still bad. Oh no. It drives me nuts when you can see, like, the plants coming in through the ore. So we won't do that. I want to- oh good, it like pushed away the skeleton. I've been talking so much about whatever. This is truly the yappiest I've ever been on stream, I think. I should keep on going. I'm not even reading chat. I'm just talking to myself. Tell me about your weekend, guys. Do you have anything planned? I really want to get my hair cut. And then trying to get my hair cut for so long. I, I usually have um, hair that only goes to my shoulders. I prefer shorter hair. But my hair has been so long, it's like the middle part of my back already. I don't like... <gasps> oh my god, that scared me. Nothing is going hiking. That sounds really nice. Honestly, I kind of want to spend some time outdoors too. The weather's been the weather's been so strange here because it's like really sunny during the week, and then during the weekend it's very cloudy and rainy. prefab actually or not a prefab the concrete floor can it fit back here maybe not oh it can but does it go through the other side oh it does not oh my god oh but it won't snap to the top can't imagine you with your hair down. <laughs> Should I get some art of my hair down? Should I get a model with my hair down? That's what 2.0 is gonna be. It's just me with my hair down. Everything else is the same, but it's just my hair is done. Oh no, the skeleton's like wigging out under there. Are we gonna hear that every time? We are. It's gonna be so annoying. Why did I not get- oh, cause it was- okay, I'm not- I have to stop.
I'm trying to think. So you enter through this hallway. I'm gonna say that this is like... See, I would have added one of those like half walls that kind of jut out. It's in the wood section, but the walls for the wood material are shorter than the warehouse wall, so I have to stick with the warehouse set if I'm going to use these warehouse uh, windows, which I love. Oh. Oh, okay, fine, don't... Okay. Don't wig out then. I would have liked to use these railings at this stair, but it's not letting me. Do you want to know why season two is better? Yes, tell me why season two is better. Oh, because it finally looks into the fight with the covenant. Oh, interesting, interesting. Hi, Lily, about to sleep and managed to pop in. Have a great stream. Hello, Tyler. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate you. Thank you for stopping by. Have a good sleep. Is this BGM making you guys sleepy? Honestly, it is kind of making me a little sleepy. But I also took a nap before this, so... It's kind of like, you know when you wake up from a nap and you're still tired? Uh, I actually hate this. Let's move this over one. Oh no, I hear the skeleton. Do you think that's gonna drive me insane? <laughs> it's like... It's like the ghost of the clinic. <laughs> the ghost of the clinic. This looks like a whack-ass floor model. This does not inspire confidence in my clinic. Look at that. Like, there's a skeleton jammed into the floor there. Okay. Here's gonna be our little welcome counter. why I'm having such a hard time figuring out this floor model is the idea for me is that the doctor lives in the same building as the clinic so I want to give her at least like a one square room somewhere in the back of the clinic but because I suppose I could just move everything up one Don't make noises. Please don't make noises. This is all very serious business. Hair physics costs too much. Honestly, it really does. <laughs> Uh, 
If I had to give my honest opinion on, like, VTuber physics... Oh, shit! What is that? Is that the skeleton? Here's a thought. I was thinking the back of the clinic would be to this wall, but what if the back of the clinic is actually this way? That, to me, makes more sense. They can enter through here. Anyway, here's my thought on VTuber physics. I think it's great that some models have... It's so... It's amazing to me, like, the artistry that people have to be able to make models so expressive and move so fluidly. But sometimes, it could look a little silly. <laughs> some boobies are max jiggly. Which, you know, good for them, honestly. But like I said, it's just it's a little bit funny to me. Rigging really amazes me is when um, people are able to do like uh, the movement of, of VTuber models walking. That looks so cool, like m making the hi hips move very realistically and, and fluidly. So cool. half wall pieces we're not of the level yet, I don't think I can make a clinic counter, right? I need local leader and medic. At least I have medic, but I still need local leader. But the idea is we put a counter like over here. Then we make a little waiting room, and then we make, um, we make, like, the clinics, um, like, the beds and things for the clinic itself, you know? Jiggle physics, but for passing Guinea Belly. That would be so cute! Oh, you know, I was discussing my membership badges with Mod 1 the other day, and I had decided to do tickets and tickets and my hat but then mod one told me i should do passing guinea for like the highest level for the membership and i was like you're right i should
I've been looking for artists to do the membership badge and I found one that I really liked, but her commissions keep opening and closing very quickly. So I've been, I have her on alerts on VGen to know when she is accepting commissions again. And I'm just like patiently waiting, <laughs> but I know it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it to wait for the artists that I actually want to do these things instead of just choosing an artist that I want based on being available now, if that makes sense. I think when I started um, VTubing, well, you know what? Let's do let's do this like broken wall for some variety. I know that that sounds silly, but it's all about texture, people. <laughs> I'm really bad at it since I like using the same walls, but we'll try to add some variety. The windows, though, I want the windows. I want all the external walls to be intact because I want them to all be intact because in my head I'm thinking well people will be cold <laughs> there are, are already holes all over these normal walls so. okay so this is going to be our doctor's living quarters right here then someone comes in to the clinic this is where our counter ideally is going to be and then i'm going to have i'm thinking we have some sort of waiting room here and then this is going to be all of the patient patient bed area sort of thing we're gonna go with that she doesn't let you reserve a spot. Um, on VGen, they have the ability for you to join a waitlist, but they can also, the artist can choose to, wait, yeah. The artist can choose to close the waitlist, and so the waitlist is currently closed, so I couldn't even join that. Oh my god, hello! <gasps> You're a new person! Welcome! I can't even assign- Ideally, I want to assign you to, like, the clinic, but I can't even do that. We have to level up. Maybe we build a little bit more? I know I said this is a settlement building stream, but we should probably progress the story so I can level up more, right? Well, we'll leave him unassigned for now. I like it. I like when things have their nice and cozy place, you know. This is gonna be the patient room. This is gonna be the doctor's living space. Super tiny, but you know. The doctor does what the doctor has to do to survive. To live here. Looks kind of funny, but we I think it's okay, right? We should definitely put a generator, but we should do like a big generator. At least like a this like five one, right? If we can get this generator to also like power up 
other things nearby, that would be good. We can't scrap this shack, and I do like this shack. In terms of lighting, I love the string lights because it provides the most light. I'm pretty sure. Is it too far? Do I need to have a little conductor thing? this help at all? I will. That's a bummer. Okay. Thank goodness we have, like, infinite material. <laughs> right? It won't connect. Oh, of course. Of course not. Will that work at all? Please tell me that works. <laughs> it does! Nice! Yeah, these lights provide the most light. Even though I like... Um, some of the other lighting options are quite nice, too. I don't know, do we like this? This doesn't really match. Do you think we should use these? Maybe we use this. Yeah, see, it doesn't feel as bright, you know? I don't like this. We're scrapping this. <laughs> oh my god, my eye is like, oh, it's all itchy all of a sudden. Oh, it's all watery. doing that. There we go. Oof. Okay. Hopefully that's better. Lighting is hard to make look good. I know. It's, n it's not the best in this game. Problem. How do I get that to connect here? Oh, will it work? No. And if I move it a little bit. Does that light up? Oh, no, not yet. Kind of ugly. At least it lights it up, right? We're gonna do we're gonna go with that. So at least this front reception area is lit up pretty nicely. Am I gonna use these lights for the entirety of my build? Does this look any better? It's kind of... Oh, this is actually quite bright. 
I like this for inter for the clinic. Well, maybe we get rid of the other. Maybe we do get rid of this. That's pretty bright, right? I think this is more in line with the clinic feeling. At least for the front part. We can do candles. Let's do power. Are there not... I think there are fire... <laughs> like, not electric candles. I think there are um, lit candles and decorations we can use for that. furniture, that's why. Here we are. This is not close to looking like that. <laughs> but it's a free light source, so we take it. Okay. Yeah, I mean, is it dark still? Yes. I'm so glad that I decided to check these out. One, two, three, four, five. So I already... That means I don't... That there's no light for the nurse or for the doctor. Is there? Oh, there is. Okay, perfect. Great. Perfect. Wonderful. Excellent. <gasps> Stop following me around. I don't have anything to give to you yet. Can't, I can assign people beds, right? Oh, mm, but if I make him, what if I make him the, what if I make him the doctor? He needs to be assigned to the bed in the clinic. Oops. I know this stream is totally riveting stuff. I know, okay, I know. Thank you for sticking with me. <laughs> I know it's the most exciting stream that you've ever seen. That way we can fit a desk in here for the doctor. Because the doctor needs, you know, she needs a little desk to do her work. Or he, or, he, or they. Uh, let's see. Is it under tables? This is like the smallest desk, which makes me want to use it. Oh, this one, this one feels more clinical, don't you think? Cool. We do that. That way it also acts as a bedside table. <clears throat> That's fine. Okay, good. Not good, good, good. In the meantime, we can pretend that this is our clinic counter. See, this is like the idea I'm going for. I believe we can make the clinic counter look like that. Right? Let's double check. Yeah, see, I think it's about the same size as this. So we'll just, you know, just imagine that is the clinic. We put a little waiting room. A 
what are good waiting room chairs? I don't like using these folding chairs, but that might be the best option. Oh, or we do a bench, maybe. Maybe we do a bench. That provides the most seating, right? I like that there are different colored kitchen chairs. Ooh, that one would have been... This one would have been good, too. Very comfy, but... I think in the interest of space, we do a bench. There. Can I fit one of these plants? No. Yes, maybe? Really? I can't put these plants? This one. There. What a beautiful waiting room. <laughs> I got as cold and clinical as you can get for the waiting room. Let's do a photo, or, um, let's do some art, you know, to calm people down, because the wasteland is stressful, you know? They come to the clinic to get their rags removed. Oh my god, I can't see shit. Why is everything so stuck? Let me figure that. They come to the clinic to get their rads removed, to fix their limbs. The last thing they want to see is, like, you know, rusty walls. If we can give them calm scenery... Oh, this one's good. It's, like, big. There. You know, people can look at that. You guys, in, in your dentist's office or, like, in your doctor's offices, I feel like this is a thing in a lot of, like, children's dentists or doctor's offices. They, they have those pictures where it looks like just a random recurring pattern, but if you stare at it long enough and you, like, kind of blur your vision, it, like, reveals a 3D image. Have you guys seen those before? My dentist used to have... Or... The dentist that I used to have, she had that in her office, and that's like one of the things I remember the most. She also used to play a lot of Disney movies. And so whenever I would get my teeth clean, I would be watching like, I don't know, whatever she would have on, like Finding Nemo. She was so nice, but she moved out of town, so I don't know where she went. But I hope she's doing well. I mean, this is not bad, honestly. This is actually pretty damn good for a clinic. By the wasteland standards? Like, come on now. Come on. Come on. I'm very thankful that I have this bed. This vault. I think that is this a vault bed? It's it's the vault bed, right? It's like the cleanest looking bed. It is kind of bulky. I would have preferred if it was small like this because it would give more space. But ugh, I can't get over the fact that it's like this is clean. We need to have a clean bed in here. Put a sink in here. It has to be a sink. Here we go. This is a water fountain. Can, oh, can we put a water fountain like right here? Would it work? No? No?
Perfect. That way the doctor can wash their hands just before they see the patient. See, it all works out. I wish I could... You think that's like, that's about sink height, right? That's pretty good. In other build videos I've seen, they um, the person would put floor coverings. They would put like rubber floor coverings, and I think we should do that. But I think we also have to remove the bed first because it won't allow me to put the floor coverings down. Here, like this one. Oh, this is like way too big for the room. Huh. Oh, here, we do this. We can do like... You know, why not? Hello, how goes it? Hello, Risk Motions. Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for joining today. We are having a settlement building stream. I mean, we might do some quest things later because I need to level up in order to get the, um, in order to get the, um, store perk stuff. But it might also just be all settlement building. There, sure. This is kind of like haphazardly placed, but I kind of like that, you know? Also a tripping hazard, but it's fine. Okay, we can do one of these. You know, uh, you know what we need? We need the chem station. But there's no space. <gasps> I'm... I can't believe I forgot about that. That makes me very upset that I forgot about that. <laughs> Oh, we have a surgery chair? That's funny. Should we put that in there? Where is the chem station? Is it in Trader? Can't we not make, um... Can't we make a chem building? Oh yeah, here we go. I don't have access to that just yet. Yet for some reason I have all of the Nuka Mixer. <laughs> that is frustrating. So yes, we can make the chem station. I want to put it in here, but... What if we put the chem station in here, and then this is the waiting room? I mean, I love this waiting room. I love this as a waiting room, though. Ugh, that's frustrating. Until we have the actual chem station available, I'll just leave this open, and I will keep the counter pushed back here. Chem station will probably go here, and this will be the waiting room. This week has been one of my hardest. It's nice to finally sit. Oh, you worked hard, Risk Motions. Good job this week. Today was quite hard for me as well. I'm glad to just be chilling on stream. But be warned, I have just been yapping to myself the entire time. And I don't look at chat as frequently, so. Hmm, maybe, no, maybe 
maybe we do try and see what, what is what will this look like if we decide to do it. It feels very crowded, no? It's like the moment you enter, there are just people here. There's people waiting. Although, there are some doctor's offices that do look like that. <clears throat> this is your reminder chat to drink water. <clears throat> no, I don't want the one. Drink water. I, um, I also need to drink water, but I don't have any. I'd have to walk away and go into the kitchen to get water, and I... I would feel bad if I... left you to go get water. What is this red thing? Is that a boat? At least put a picture here, okay? Okay. Is this the smallest picture we have? I guess. That is the craziest placement for a picture. That is honestly so stupid. Maybe we move the. <gasps> that is so stupid looking. That also is dumb. cannot put another light in the waiting room. I think we've exhausted the five power. Yeah, we did. But that's okay. What if someone stand- what if I put this here? And someone is sitting here, and they stand up, and their hair catches on fire. What if the painting catches on fire? It's like I- that's like head level. What if- what if the painting catches on fire? And the whole building catches on fire? Do I need to expand the generator? These are all things that are very important to think about. I'm drinking milk. Just straight milk, Nye. <laughs> I don't think- that still is beyond me. I don't know, you guys. I can't just drink straight milk. That's too crazy for me. You honestly need more subs. You're so calm and relaxed for a VTuber. Thank you, Risk Motions. I appreciate it. I don't know if I'm exactly calm and relaxed. Every time, um, I tend to scream quite a bit when I'm scared. So, <laughs> I don't know if that's exactly relaxing. But I'd like to hope and think that this stream in particular is relaxing. So, okay, chem station will go here. Maybe we just upgrade the generator. Maybe we just upgrade the generator. Oh my god, rank one science. It's not even unlocked. No, I refuse. I refuse to upgrade it or to add a second one. We leave it. If 
they are at the right place for treatment. If my candles are at head height and the place burns down? <laughs> I really love this um, computer chair. It looks exactly like every Ikea computer chair. Where is it? Why did they put it at the very end? I guess because it's like considered the vault. But I like this one because it, it's clean, it's compact, it's perfect. There. That's for the doctor to sit in. What else is needed in the doctor's doctors uh, or like the patient room? What else is needed in the patient room? It was chocolate, chocolatized milk from cereal. Oh, so you are eating cereal and then you are just finishing off the milk from it. Got it, got it. Still a little wild to me. <laughs> but also I think chocolate milk, drinking straight chocolate milk is better than just drinking plain milk. Oh, Christmas trees. What kind of, what kind of containers or uh, do we have a locker? You guys know me, like I said earlier. Love these lockers. They're so compact. They fit perfectly in the space. Maybe we move maybe we move the sink here. Oh no, but now it's not going to get to like proper hand washing height. Oh, there we go. That's hand washing height, right? If you're tall, I don't know, I'm short. So I think like it would have to be shorter than this. But maybe the doctor's taller than me. Let's do that. Perfect. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that, otherwise it's going to bug me forever. <laughs> that's worse. You think <clears throat> you think that's worse, Snow Crab? <clears throat> If they catch their hair on fire, if they catch on fire when they stand up, then they did come to the right place. That, I guess, true, but... I don't like this now because... Oh god, you guys are gonna hate me. I'm just gonna keep on moving things around. We do need some sort of counter space. We do need some counter space somewhere, so maybe I... I put it here though, it's blocking the sink. Do we like that? Can I fit it here, perhaps? Oh, maybe. I'd have to get rid of that. At least I can do this. We've been streaming for almost two hours. I said I would do a quest, but we've been working at this for so long. <laughs> we haven't done much. I, my bad. Sorry, guys. <laughs>
that's too high. Okay, cool. So that's enough base for stuff. Then I add my sink, which I'll never find because I can never seem to remember where they put the sink. <gasps> These are even better. Maybe like that. Like regretting like oh maybe I should this is probably better like that <clears throat> right that looks more clinical and doctorly like and then now I put the sink here oh everything's so close together like feels a little claustrophobic to me we can use the sink to cover up this hole in the wall. Okay. I think that's a good use of space. We want to keep this part open. This is all rusty, but you know, that's fine. Yeah, that's a lot of space to store chems and whatnot. And then this is us washing our hands. That's for whatever is happening here. Yeah. Should we add a, another photo to calm down our patients when they're getting their treatment? What's a good calm painting? A giant mounted creature head. <laughs> Is this calm? What do you guys think are the most calm paintings here? The beach is nice. Pictures of water are always calming. Maybe this one. That's that's nice. It's it's matching the vibe of the other. <laughs> the real quest is the journey along the way. <laughs> the real quest is Feeling the satisfaction of building a good settlement. Ooh, I love the doctor's room. The light is coming in perfectly. Wonderful. I love it. I love this. Okay. Watch me be forgetting, like, a ton of other things that I could be putting in these rooms. Like, decorations that would actually work. Is there anything here? I can add the cigarette machine. Why not? we put a plant in here? No, this is not the time for a plant. Lily, this is not the time for a plant. <laughs> Shopping cart! Oh, 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 no. Oh, God. Okay, maybe we leave the settlement as is. Hello, sir. Oh, let me assign you to this bed. You are now... You are now the doctor of this town. Do you have a medical degree or do you have any medical experience of any kind? Don't say anything for five seconds if you do. Perfect. Okay, you are now the clinic owner and you work here. Good vibe for me, don't need to do stuff in particular. Thank you, Stan. Just a lot of me talking about walls, but. Now I want the kitty painting. We'll put the kitty painting in this guy's room. What if this guy loves like, I am sitting way too close to my computer monitor. I have to back up. <laughs> Let's put the kitty painting in here. This one's so cute. There are a lot of 
kitty paintings? I like this one. Can I not put it on this wall? Guess not. Okay. Oh, I can put it next to his bed. Is that weird? Shelf. Then display. No. I want to give him a shelf at the very least on the wall because he can't fit a bookshelf or anything. Oh, we can put a locker here like we have in all the other ones. There. So he can display his various memorabilia that he has. These lockers will never fail me. It would have been nice if we had an extra room for like the doctor's files, you know? I'm sure there are confidential files that need to be stored. I like the idea of these, um... They have, like, the filing cabinets. Oh, well, I guess we could put them... We can put them here. Yeah, it'll fit! Maybe we put them like this. Why won't you fit? <gasps> That's frustrating. Why? Come on. Boo. Boo. Can I put this safe down here? These are going to be where all the important chems are stored. Do we like that idea? Do we like that lore? Do you think this is actually... Dude, dude, walking into this room, you're going to stub your toe on this. I take that back. We don't, we don't include the safe. <laughs> He knows how to use stims, at least. Very true. Hey, at least he can stab the syringe in somebody. I was trying to watch a Fallout VOD on Twitch earlier, and it's such a pain when it goes silent for a minute at a time just because of the damn music. Oh, to avoid, like, the copyright? <laughs> Okay, well, you know what? The doctor can keep... Can we fit the filing cabinet in here? Please tell me. Come on, Todd Howard. No way. That's... In my little lore-filled brain, we're just gonna have to deal with the fact that we can't have the filing cabinet anywhere. And that is very frustrating to me. That is actually crazy that it will not stand against the wall. Look. It won't go in the corner. Why will it not go in the corner? Whatever.
this clinic is kind of low-key. I mean, if there was more than one person that needed to stay here, well... Good luck to them. Because there's only one bed. <laughs> but, I mean, it's not like the Starlight... Starlight Settlement is not that big, you know? We could expand the clinic eventually if we feel like we needed more people, or we needed more space for people. But at this time, maybe one bed is fine. <clears throat> okay, great. So this is, I think the clinic is okay at this time. We can move on. Oh, these random floating stairs. <laughs> they can share the bed. That's very fanfic of them. Fan fiction of them. There was only one bed. What? What is it? They were. They were friends, or or something like that. They and then they went to the hotel room. There was only one bed. What's the? Oh my god! What is that trope? I have to, I'm gonna look it up. There was only. I'm looking this up. Uh. Yeah, it's literally just called one bedroom. <laughs> I don't know if the people in the clinic should be sharing a bed, though. Don't you think that's a little... You know, it's a little dangerous. Oh, I kind of don't like how the... Clinic is... The... Now I'm, like, looking at it, I'm like, I don't like how it's facing that way, but... It is what it is, I suppose. Next, we should build... Oh, you know what? I just thought of something. Because I want the door to be facing where everyone's coming in. Sorry, I was gonna move on to another, another building. What if we do that? ice cream in my fridge that I really want to eat. But I didn't want to eat it on stream. Because then I'm sure it would melt before I could eat it properly. Otherwise, it would just become, what is it? A mukbang stream. I can't remember how you guys feel about those types of things. Like about hearing other people eating. Is that gross to you guys? I used to watch a couple of mukbang streams. Back in the day, I don't watch them so much anymore. But some of the one of those or some of those streams and those vlogs are like there's a lot of food. <laughs> it makes me kind of makes me kind of anxious. What are you gonna do with all that food? You're not gonna feel sick. Cannot find doors. Does is this the door that opens outward? It's opening inward. Yeah, I guess we would want it to open inward. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Perfect. Except, yeah, because the chem station can be right there, right? Oh, who are you, Piper? <laughs> They have a they have a little to look over story. When two random wastelanders wastelanders I forget. When two random wastelanders go to one clinic to get their rods removed, they didn't expect to fall in love. But because of one shared bed, their stories become intertwined. I think we can put 
the um Oh, she's sitting! Perfect, wonderful, lovely. We could probably put the chem station here. Even though the door's in the way, I'm thinking we could put it here. That's actually crazy. Oh my god, I... <laughs> What if there are just two waiting rooms? <laughs> the cab station can go there. Oh my god, I'm just gonna stop. Alright, this is our clinic. This is our clinic. I'm gonna leave it alone for now. And then when we get the um, actual clinic counter, we can do more work to it. But for now, I'm gonna leave it. What flavor? I have- it's cookie dough! I told you guys, cookie dough is my favorite ice cream. Okay, no, I said I was gonna leave it. Lily, stop. Stop. I was gonna make a porch. Lily, stop. Piper. Okay, what should we build next? Maybe we do one more building and then I will call the stream for today. Maybe we do... I want to say, like, this middle area, I'll have a couple of, like, restaurants. We can do, like, a barber. I want this area to be... Let's fence it off at the very least. I want this area to be for a Brahmin. Can we get Brahmin here? We can get Brahmin here, right? <clears throat> I'm fine with it. I don't mind. I watch a lot of food channels, so yeah, I used to it. Okay. What if we do that type of stream? What if we just ate dinner together, you guys? And we just have like a dinner eating stream. You know how some VTubers do like a Let's have a sleepover stream and like they have their cute little bed overlays and assets and then sometimes they leave the stream on for like overnight while they're sleeping you know to simulate like an actual sleepover but instead of us doing that we just have a let's eat dinner together stream what's a good brahmin fence maybe this one I like this one for some reason. I just feel like it's very... I like this fence for the Brahmin for some reason. How do we get the Brahmin to come to the settlement? People don't always get their faves, sometimes they change it up. That is very true. But I am, for ice cream, I'm like truly, I truly just stick to my favorite. <laughs> sometimes I will get like a fruit flavored ice cream, but most of the time it's just going to be vanilla cookie dough. What's with Americans and cookie dough obsession? I don't know, it's like a fun little snack in your snack. <laughs> I like the extra texture. I don't know, Lily. Sounds like you're getting a little parasocial to us. Oh my god, you're right. Never mind. Let's not do that. Who am I to even suggest that? I can't believe I in a my lapse of judgment there. I want to get at least two Brahmin. Brahmin. Do you think this fence is big enough for two Brahmin? This this 
floating thing is bugging me. But... I always want to make sure that my animals have enough space to roam around, you know? You can buy the Brahmin. Brahmin sellers are random, like the guy that sells dogs. I see, I see. Then we will have to keep an eye out for the Brahmin seller. Is there a fence gate? Oh my god! Somehow, I feel stupid for just not using this one. Oh, it's a balcony railing. Well, honestly, like I said, I like... I like this. Good thing I don't have to worry about material, otherwise I would have it would have been better to use the railing. But we're not gonna worry about that because I don't have to worry about material. Once again, another skeleton on the premises, please look away. Apologize for that. Why are you using railings? I like the look of this though! Fences again? Oh, here. Oops. Junk fence. Oh, I forgot about the wired fence. I like this though. Ugh. But then if I use the fence door, it's gonna look weird. I know. Well, this fucking skeleton man. See, if I hide- if I use these railings, I can cover up the skeleton. <laughs> Color up- cover up the skeleton. It's- it's not a good look for visitors. got the mod that lets you scrap everything. I know, I know, so many people have told me this, okay? I'm very close to doing it because the skeletons are kind of driving me nuts. No, that does look funny, but I like that you can't see the inside. if you're doing full vanilla playthrough, but you can get a mod to remove the settlement build allowance limit. It really helps me to build more elaborate structures. Ooh. I, true. I do have to keep in mind the settlement. Um, oh my god, look at the size. Yeah, I am hitting it soon, right? I should download a mod for that. I should. Thank you very much for reminding me about that. You know why? I'm getting so excited about decorating the place that it is just taking up all of the settlement size.
might just have to do that. I wanted to download as few mods as possible, but who am I kidding? Will this not... <sighs> I want it to connect to the wall. That's so troublesome. Also, in case you pass a message, you can build Brahmin cages and capture them. Oh, there are cages, huh? I do have the cages. For the sake of not trying to fight. this snap? Oh my god, it won't snap. Oh, close enough. Close enough. It's disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. No. No. Please don't do this to me. Don't do that to me. Fallout 4. She's not doing vanilla shading as well. <laughs> I'm trying so hard not to download any mods. That is actually gross. I wanted this whole area to be the Brahmin area. space for our Brahmin to run around in. Whenever I make um, these sorts of structures like in Minecraft and stuff, I have to make sure that there's a lot of room for everyone to walk around in. There's a, some, sort of, some sort of shade. Shade is important. like a shady structure for the Brahmin to live in. That's too big. <laughs> I wish I could think the stuff in. Can't wait to see 100 plus mod gameplay. If you're gonna get those mods, you might as well get a mod for a nice twin tails and purple hair. Oh, you know what? I was playing 76. I tried so hard to get my model to look like me, but it's not. It was hard to find a good twin tail hairstyle. Oh, we're out of wood.
Maybe if we just do that. There we go. At least then... Oh, I need to get more material. At least... Look, right? At least they have shade. going to bug the crap out of me. <laughs> it's this. It's this. It's that, honestly. Fallout is only great because of the mods. <laughs> I... I don't know. I try not to play with the mods. But it's... I might just have to because this whole crafting thing is driving me nuts. The settlement thing is driving me, driving me nuts. I want the Nexus mod to see if anything close to Lily's outfit and the one and one of the first mods I found says changes the crank sound on the laser musket to random snippets to random snippets of soldier voice crank. <laughs> see, that's completely huh, that is not related to this game at all. Do you think Preston Garvey knows what that song is? No. Oh my god, I wish it would just... Please don't float. Maybe... Unfortunately, the pen just needs to be smaller than I was hoping. Maybe our Brahmin don't get to have this entire area. Or I go back to using the railing like I was doing earlier, even though that took up a lot of the settlement size for some reason. What? Why is that? a disgusting little pen. Not enough room at all. I'm seriously about to not use this. We'll just we'll just use the railing like I had planned and then leave the the gate, like this gate, is part of it. <clears throat> Fallout is hella enhanced with mods. <laughs> Look, I get it that Fallout would probably be, like, more enjoyable perhaps with the mods, but... <laughs> All oh, four of his vanilla is really lacking. Three and New Vegas can play without mods just fine, but four is just too lacking. Is it mainly, do you feel like it's because of like the settlement aspect?
for me, that's where it's like... For me, that's where I'm like, oh, that's this is where I need all the mods. It's for my settlement. But also, because like I said, I'm the type of person that likes decorating stuff. like something in my eye. This is insane. Oh. It's all buttery. <laughs> New Vegas, you need mods so you can play without it crashing. Yes, but you didn't have to stay. How many times did we crash when we played Fallout New Vegas? Too many times. Oh no! The Brahmin might get hurt! The, the Brahmin might get hurt if they run into that fence. You know, move it like this. After the stream, I'm gonna give in and download the settlement. Ex the extent, like the build limit mod for that. And then I'm going to do the cleaning up one so I can get rid Ugh. I know I said this so many times I hate when like the brush like gets through the floor and stuff and the all of that but it's the skeletons that are really ruining it for me <laughs> I need the skeletons out of here it's not a good look for when people join the settlement oh you know that perfectly like aligns I mean we're not gonna look too hard at that. These modded Fallout 4 playthrough. <laughs> Shrek super mutants received the attack of Penny <laughs> I can only imagine the kind of crazy mods that this game has. The mod that sticks out to me the most to this day in my mind is the one in New Vegas where you can like have them ride the motorcycle and every time the Brotherhood showed up in the TV show you know what like played in my head who's was it Veronica who says it in Fallout New Vegas they're like for the Brotherhood I saw some video where they like I don't know. She was on the motorcycle. Am I making that up? I don't know. That must be such an old video. Speaking of old gameplay, I looked up I was trying to find a game type, a Halo 3? I think it was Halo 3? Game type? Or I don't know what, what, I forget what Halo was. A Halo game type that someone had made in Forge. It was called the Ice Cream Man or something? And there was a video from like 15 years ago. <laughs> On YouTube, I was like, oh my god. This is so old, but I am so happy that it's preserved. <laughs> okay, good enough. The problem can't get me there. That's a good enough Brahmin pen, don't you think? That's big enough. Uh-oh, I have to flip that side of the fence. Yeah. I'm happy with this. Yeah, 
not sure. Oh, that's not... <laughs> we won't look too closely at that one. Great. Now we need to make like a little over... Um, like a little area here so that when it's raining, the Brahmin won't get drenched in the rain, you know? We gotta take care of our Brahmin. The people of the settlement depend on it. I like how, look at this, we've literally just made some common housing, the clinic, and this, um, we made like a little farm and this Brahmin pen, and we are hitting the build limit. That's, <laughs> I'm getting carried away. I have to stop. Look at all my, I have so many turrets. My defense is too high for what the settlement is right now. <laughs> Skeleton remover would be nice. I'd have hoped that maybe you could remove those unscrappable things by default. Skeletons, enemy bodies, etc. But no. Praise Todd Howard. <laughs> I know, you would think that the the part that drives me nuts is like, there are heaps of trash in the settlements, right? Heaps of trash all over the place, and you can't get rid of it. And you think that, oh, you know what, I should get into, I should get in here, it's gonna take me forever to walk. Um, but there's trash everywhere, and you would think that these people being people wanting a nice clean space would be able to clean that all up. But no, it's like they just live with the heaps of trash. <laughs> Oops. If I was living out here, I would not want heaps of trash. Like, hello? There, good enough. And then the Brahmin feeder can go somewhere in here, I guess. Yeah, sure. Why not? I'm so kind to these Brahmin. We gotta take care of the Brahmin, make sure that they're okay. How many people do we have? Who is this person just walking around? Aren't you the clinic guy? When did you... Are you the clinic guy? Were you always wearing that? Maybe I get rid of some of my defense. There's like... There's like too many, the defense on this place is crazy. Wait. <gasps> I have carrots? one for now. We want at least two Brahmin, like I said. At least two Brahmin. That's good enough, right? I like Jenga and Halo Customs. You can't move the skeletons, no. I can't pick it up. That's what's really frustrating. I need a mod to remove them. You can move something else into the skeleton to push it. I, that's what happened when I built... That's what happened when I built my house, and the, the skeleton did move a little bit. But for a while, the skeleton was like... Its head was trapped 
in between like the door frame. It was really creepy. Oh shoot. I should scrap that. I don't need that. This is my house. I need we need to give a name to our clinic man. He needs to get out of my house. And out of here. If we put a fire barrel... If we put a fire barrel in here, do you think the Brahmin would knock it over? Fit in decoration? Where is it? remember where things are in this game. Is it in here? Please tell me. Do you guys remember where the fire barrel is? Oh, here. Do you think if we put a fire barrel here, the Brahmin would knock it over? No, right? Constantly worried about people setting themselves on fire in this game with my candles. Okay, well, you know, here, this is fine. The fire barrel will keep the Brahmin warm, too, you know? It also provides warmth. Whoa, that is nefarious as fuck looking. We need... <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like that. Sure. Oh, see, look. It's raining. See, if the Brahmin were here. Okay, that's good. I like this. Hello, Space Sheep. Welcome to the stream. What is this game about? It is about creating a settlement for people to live in. Yes, yes, that's exactly what it is. Trying to rebuild civilization. <laughs> I don't know about anything else. I just know settlement building. <laughs> Okay, I'm satisfied with that for now. Don't ha me. What time is it in the game? Hmm. I wish we're close to leveling up. Well, we're halfway. Next, uh, next time we level up, we need to continue leveling up our charisma, I believe, for the shops. I can't believe we spent two hours and a half building a Brahmin pen, this, this clinic, and I think we made, what was this? We made, like, this little... Oh, yeah, we tried to make, like, a platform, but <laughs> we ended up putting everything back here. That is so annoying. We should, should store this. There are a lot of things here that I could scrap. I do like 
keeping these shelves, but I should scrap some of these other things. In my head, this is like where the majority of things are stored for the settlement, but we'll do that another day. If it catches on fire, we get roasted meat. True. It just ran, it just roasts itself. Is that <laughs> what it is? Oh, oh man. Yeah, go to sleep, Mr. Clinic Man. Or doctor. Alright, I don't want to be building in the dark, so let's go back. Let's go sleep in my house. We'll continue in the daytime. I'm on PS4, so my options are going to be more limited than Xbox or PC, but the mod I use for the build limit is called No Build Limit All DLC. Also, there's no DLC versions. Ooh, I will have to look that up. Thank you so much. How do you pronounce your name, by the way? Is it Cave Maniac? I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Thank you. I like to give my chatters nicknames, so can is it okay if I just call you Maniac? <laughs> that I understand if not though because that's kind of a bad nickname isn't it <laughs> you should make an ammo production thing I would love to make all of the crafting benches for sure but I would need to level up so that I have the ability to do that Should we continue? Should we continue crafting one more building or should we just call it for today? What is another thing that the settlement needs? I figured clinic always important. What other things do the settlement do all the settlements need to have? A restaurant, like a bar, restaurants, but oh, a general store, right? I guess we also need like a police shack. <laughs> oh, like an ammo production place and um, like an armory. We definitely need that. I kind of want to put that back here though. So it's not as close to the front, but it also needs to be accessible for people coming in. So For the police little shack, I'm willing to just use a prefab because I don't want to put too much work into it. Will it fit nicely here? It's too big. Oh! Why does it snap like that? I don't, I don't like it snapping. feel about that. No. This is too big as well. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. Not the bench. Oh, the actual ammunition plant. Like with the belts and everything, right? Okay. That I don't, will we have enough space to make such a such a place? <laughs> I was I was talking to Mod One once, and they were showing me their settlement. I think it's at North Hagen Beach. And they made an ammunition plant. And they were saying that the roof was like made of those glass window roofs. But then it started raining and and the rain just got all over the plant on the inside. <laughs> it is important that your ammunition plant does not get wet in the rain. Everything will get rusty. It 
If we use a prefab... I want it to match that, though. I am truly... My vision is guys I don't know what, what what the vision is here I almost regret putting this here and I kind of want to push it out more but I don't think I can I'll have to think about it some more maybe this is a good time to call the stream we're also hitting the build limit like very close I like kind of having everything raised. Do you think we could get away with having like... Like this could be armor and guns? No. I need time to yes, I do need time to brainstorm. I need time to lay I need to make like a little actual physical map so I can lay out my stuff. Cause I would love to have things kind of lined up nicely on along the side and then have some things at the have stuff in the center. We spent two hours and thirty minutes making a Brahmin pen and a clinic. I love being productive. <laughs> Goodbye, Lily. I have to eat lunch, so I gotta go now. No problem, Space Chief. Have a good lunch. <clears throat> well, I mean, hey. You know, it could have been worse. We did pretty well. Oh, hello, Piper. Right? Not too bad. It The, the fundamental structures are coming together. <laughs> we don't even have a Brahmin, and I worked so hard on this Brahmin pen. Of course I would. Of course I would. <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do. Very true, Ryan. You know, th these are important things. The clinic, very important. And we had to make sure that the doctor was living comfortably too, right? Like, the room, you know? He has to live comfortably, otherwise he's not going to be able to do a good job when people join the clinic. <sighs> we are on our way, team. <laughs> but I think I should call the stream here. This was so fun and cozy and relaxing after such a long and stressful day for me. <laughs> I think this is what I needed. So thank you so much for joining. I always love having you guys around, listening to me yap about random Fallout stuff. And of course, whenever you guys give me Fallout tips, you know, very helpful. Oh shit, I forgot I have to get rid of that. <laughs> All right, I gotta get back in a position for the ending. <laughs> I'm gonna say goodbye to everybody in the chat, so I will read everyone's names in a second. Come on, Piper, get up here. <clears throat> okay. Thank you so much for joining the stream today. I think it was pretty good, pretty productive, more or less. <laughs> 
I will say goodbye. Um, good night, Snow Crab. Good night, Maniac. Good night, Nye. Maniac, thank you so much for joining the stream today. Um, good night, Ryan. Good night, Stan. Good night, Rippy. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a good weekend. Let me know what you guys did, if it was fun, if it was boring and normal, you know, that too. Let me know in the Discord. <laughs> I'll get I'll catch you guys on Monday. I don't know what we'll do, but I will definitely be here. So good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night, John. Thank you so much for joining the stream. Thank you, thank you. Goodbye to everyone in chat who didn't comment. <laughs> bye bye.